Hi, this video I'm making our English version about how to use the app builder, the flutterstudio.app. Okay, it's quite easy that help you get the idea of how to code in Flutter. First of all, this application, the app builder, get you the idea of what are the widget that is already available that in material.darts. Uh, Material.dart is the um, library that's that already creating for um, us to use all the widgets that are available. So in here, you can see, you can see the name of all the widgets that you can already uh, just call out and uh, use it here. The Flutter Studio allow you to create the look and feel of the application. Just a basic idea. First of all, you should start with container. If you think about anything, um, you try to put it in the container. Come back to my slides. I would show you the structure of most application. In Flutter, you create a program by looking at the one UI interface as a tree of widget. Okay, in this page, you can see that this application on the home page. This is what we're talking about. This is the UI of the home page. What it's um, containing? It's that of scaffold, which is all this um, whole page of the UI. Scaffold um, have the app bar widget at the top, right? Every scaffold we have two part of the sub structure, which is app bar, and another part is depend on what you want it to be. It could be a box or container. In this case, we have app bar in the yellow, right, and the container in the red. Inside the container, then you have a column icon. Uh, inside the column, you have icon row. Why you put them in the column? Because the widget arrange itself from top to bottom. So you put them in the column. But if the widget arrange itself from the left to right, you put them in a row like this flat button. These two flat buttons, it's inside a row. You can see here, see the way I did the tree for you, the, the structure of the UI. So um, this is the basic idea of how you create the application. So let's try to use the app builder here. Okay, app builder first, like I said, it will have app um, bar already. So we put container in here. This is the container. You can set the color and alignment of the container, how you want it to be, etc. In here, we look at the UI as in the graphical UI, but you can also see the source code as well. See, in here you have the source code that build the widget that have app bar and the body is the container that we just added, right? Come back to the model. What we want to put inside is the column, right? So you put the column inside the container. You have the column that look like this with no other object in it. Come to check the code, sort code, you can see, see? Container has a child that is a column, right? Uh, come back to the model. What else that you want to put in here? You want to put um, icon in the first child of the column. So you just drag. Make sure you click at the column. See, you can see that now you're selecting column. You want to add the icon. Click add into the column. You can set the column. You can see if you want to see what are there available in the column, uh, in the icon, you can see here. Check the sort codes. What is this call? See, icon.chat. Now we have column that have children. The first child of the column is the icon, right? Come back to the model. Now we want to make sure that we select the column. 
in order to add the child to the column. We want to add the row now, aren't we? Select row in, see? Do we get the row? What else that we want to put in? Um, button, right? In the row, put the button in. Now we want to put two button. So you just select row again, add two button. You can change the color of the text, right? And the font and everything. You can check in the source code. This is how you use the app builder. I recommend use app builder when you try to understand each widget and what property can you set in each widget. But when you program that real application, it's not helpful to have the code about the UI like this long, right? So what you want to do is um, create a method that create each of these uh, uh, widget for the UI. Okay, so this is just to get the idea how to use the Flutter Studio and build app builder, uh, build, uh, build UI through the app builder. Now we come to the um, how to create the UI in advance when you create the class and the method for the UI. When you create the UI, the designer will send you the look of the UI of the application. As a programmer, you need to see what are the widget that you will be using in this application and try to group them. Right? In this case, on this page, I have grouped them into four sections. And of course, it's arranged from top to bottom. We can see that this have a column, hold them. Right? So what you get here is the application called Material App. All right, this one got one page. It got the scaffold that have app bar that we know already from the programming, right? The scaffold will have app bar that I didn't put it here because it's quite um, simple. App bar would have app bar title, that's it. But what we are interested in here is these four group of widgets. As we said before, this widget arranged itself from top to bottom. So we put them in the column. The first object in the column is the image. Right, it's a simple image, it's nothing much. But the second section, it has so many things in here. So what I'm going to do is, well, I might use this again in other page of the application. I'm going to create them into the object called title section. I put them in the container. This is one container. And the second container I have here, three button of the same, um, of, uh, of the same structure, which is icon and text, the name of the button, All right? I call them button section. And the last sec section is the container that have text in it. Okay, first, we're going to work on the section title section. I'll break it down for you to see what's inside the title section. Title section is the container which has text, right? Two text and then icon and text. What I see here is the text is arranged itself from top to bottom. I combine them into one column that have two children up to text. And then in this container that have row in it, the first child is the column, the second child is icon, and the third child is text. So title section is a container that have row. Inside this row have three children. The first children is the column, and the second children is icon, and the third sec, um, children child is the text, right? Okay, from this section, this is the button section, I can see it's come with the column section with two children, right? 
column section with icon and text inside. And of course, it's have three buttons from left to right. So this column is become a child of row in the container button section. Now we're going to create method for each container. We're going to work on the first uh, container that called title section. Um, I just create this class as a stateless widget, but the idea you can use in stateless and stateful widget. Um, first one in the widget builder, we tell them that this class have widget container called title section. And inside the container, we state what's are inside of it. Like I said before, it contain row. And inside the row have children. That's a column and icon and text. And inside the column, you add container that have text inside, the first text. The reason that I add container uh, all over to contain the text is because I want to set the padding for the text. But if you don't want to set the padding, you can add the children to be a text to text here like this one. Right, but if you want the text to have padding, you have to put the text inside the container. This is the first children of the row, which is the column. And then the second children of the row is icon here, right? Icon star. And then the last children is a text. This is how you create a widget container called title section. This is just we create like a like a method to create a container, but it's return container itself in widget. Well, by doing this, we can change um, the title section quite easily. We don't have to go and change in the main builder. And now we come and create widget for button section, which is the container, but when we see that these are three columns of the same structure, we think, well, hang on a minute. Instead of write a code, um, like coding programming, that's three of the same thing. If we have five buttons, that means we have to uh, write a code five times. We don't want to do that. So we decide that we create a method for build button column. When you create a method like this, you didn't build the widget you create a method. This method have to be um, at the end of the class, right? You don't put this method inside the widget build method. You create the column method at the end of class that you use, right? This method return column, like I said, well, well, we want to eat, eat, return each button here, which is the column. Inside the column, have icon and text. Same thing, see, column, children is icon and text. But before I told you, if we want to set property like padding or margin for text, you need to put the text in the container. So here we go. We have the method that return column for each button. We want to use it now, right? Um, we do the same as when create the widget container for the title section. We create widget container called button section. Inside the button section is the container that have row in it, right? Container that have shout is a row. And in a row, we have children that are three buttons. So we call that build button method three times. And we pass the parameter, which is the color come from the theme of the application and the name of the icon that we want to use for each button and the text string that we want to pass it to the param uh, to the method. Now we're going to have this 
three button inside row. This is make the application look neater, neater when you write the code, right? And the last section is the text section, which again is the container widget. So we build a widget that call text section that have container and inside is a text with the padding. Now we get all these three sections. We want to use these three sections in the build method, right? To use the image, right? To use the image, um, you can use, uh, you can add the uh, picture image to your folder in the project. And then you need to go to pub spec file in your project to tell them that the asset now of this application, including image, the image file in the image folder, right? It has to be same directory and the file name have to be the same for the application to find this image to represent when you run the project. And in the code, in the return material app, this is where you tell the program when it run my app, it will return this page, right? This part, you said that in the body, right, it's a, content, it's a column. That first child is the image asset. But when you have so many sections and your screen could be too small to represent all this section, I recommend you to change the column into list view because list view give you optimization of user scroll bar. It will let you scroll down when all the UI element of your uh, application is longer than the screen size of your device. So in the body, instead of use column, we use list view here. And the first children of the list view is the image. You just call the image asset, point the file of the image that you're gonna use. And then after the image, what do you have? You have three section, right? You have the three section that you already created here. Title section, button section, text section. You already created the widget tree container in your build method of the class. So in the return material app part, you can just call those widget in here. This make your material app look clearer and neater. In real life, this section, you might not create it inside a class. You can create in different class and you can call them and import them into a different file of your project. For example, your application have this type of container in three pages of your application. You can just import the UI file that you create the container and use it in each application, in each page of your application. This is how you um, make the UI structure in the Flutter code. Make it easier for you to write the code and make it easier to reuse the code in Flutter. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comment, please um, let me know and I can do uh, another video for you. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm just going to create more content for you. Okay, bye for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Please um, comment to let me know what you want to learn next. Bye.